What's up guys, this is LNGK and I am coming back to you guys with another Project Zomboid playthrough. Now you might be saying, another one? You have literally no videos on your channel. That's because I did a couple of playthroughs in the past, but I recently, as in a couple of months ago, I think, might have been longer, um, I deleted them because I really didn't like the quality and they were a little embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. So, we're starting a new one, hopefully it's better. Here we go. I am playing almost completely vanilla. The only thing I'm going to say that's different is I have pillows, random spawns, and customizable zombies. If you don't know what customizable zombies is, it gives you the option to actually customize the percentage of zombies that spawn. Um, this is actually the default. Um, so I leave it as the default because I think, I think I, here, here's what I'm trying to say and, and failing. I want to have sprinters on, but I've never played with them before, so this is going to be brand new to me, and I want them to be very, very few and far between, just enough to keep me on my toes that I never know if a zombie behind me or co that I'm coming up to could be a sprinter. Even at 0.2%, there is still a chance, and that is going to terrify me, so... I, I'm sorry if that's not enough for you. Um, at least I'm playing with sprinters at all, I guess. That makes it a little bit more challenging, but uh, I want I want it to be every so often, not like every third zombie or anything like that. So, so I, I usually play custom sandbox. Um, I'm actually going to do mini spawns w with Riverside because I don't play enough of Riverside. I play a lot of the main cities. I recently been doing some spawns in Louisville, but that map is just too big to learn right now um, but I have only spawned in Rosewood a couple of times uh, in my 800 hours of game time so far um, so I'm actually gonna give it another shot in this playthrough um, if you want to skip through the sandbox options I should have a link in the description for the timestamp that you can skip it if you are interested in what my presets are um, go ahead and keep watching um, I do a slightly modified version of survival um, I keep population the same. I move the start month up a month, so instead of July, it's June. I, you know, I just like to give myself more time before winter. Like, sue me, you know. I'm, maybe that's making it easier on myself. I don't know. I, maybe I might not even live that long, so it might not matter. Um, everything in world stays the same except for this item removal, but it's still just like basic shirts and stuff. Um, nature stays the same. Sadistic AI. I turn the helicopter off. I may catch flack for that. People may give me hate. I don't care. I f hate the helicopter. I think it's a bullshit mechanic. I don't think it adds anything to the game except a giant headache. And I turn it off because I don't want to play with it. That's just how I play. So if you dislike that, I apologize. Um, meta stays the same. Loot rarity stays the same. Character, the only thing I've changed is weapon multi-hit and movement disruption. I think this being checked and that being unchecked should be the default. I get why they're the opposite in, in default, but if you're talking like realistic, which this game tries to be realistic, you can keep moving while swinging a weapon in real life. Just like swinging a weapon in real life, you would have a follow through that could potentially hit multiple zombies. So just logically, I think that these should be set as they are. Um, in game map, I just have the world map. Vehicles are standard. Zombie lore, I have the speed set to random, so again, um, it'll give me, you know, a, a variety based on that custom custom zombies like I showed you. And then I turned fence lunge off because I think fence lunge is bullshit, to be honest. I think zombies wouldn't actually be able to lunge from the fence. Maybe the sprinters would because they're fast. Um, but the zombie house alarm triggering... I get why it's default off because it makes it easy for zombies to trigger an alarm so you don't have to and it draws them away and all those kinds of things. But I think, again, realistically, a house alarm isn't going to know the difference ver with me breaking in versus a zombie breaking in. So I keep that checked. Um, and then advanced zombie options. Lastly, I might also catch some flack for this one. But I put my start multiplier at 0.5. I think one is really high, and I and even 0.5, there's a lot of zombies, almost too many sometimes, depending on where you spawn. Um, I think if you're talking about a peak multiplier for peak day at 1.5, I think it should start a lot lower than one, because going from one to 1.5 is not that much. And I and I changed this from 28 to 30, just give myself a full 
a full month even though that's two two extra days um but yeah so i keep this at 0.5 i leave everything else the same um and that's basically how i play so like i said or at least i i might have said i might not have said i i get confused sometimes i apologize um i'm gonna play an engineer this playthrough because i've never actually played one in my 800 hours of playthrough at this point i've never actually played an engineer um, I haven't really focused much on, like, electrical stuff, but I've seen stuff online about that they can make, like, these noisemakers and, like, bombs and, like, all this cool stuff to help, like, try and draw away zombies. And, like, I think that's really cool and I want to I give it a shot. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I actually do already have a preset that I made. Here are the traits. I have slow healer, fear of blood, hearty appetite, sleepy head, smoker, weak stomach, slow reader. Those are some pretty brutal traits. They are balanced out a little bit by Outdoorsman, Brave, Lucky, Stout, Thick-Skinned. I am clearly going to be doing some melee fighting here. Um, I kind of have Thick-Skinned because I have Slow Healer, so I'm hoping to not get injured as much. Um, Fear of Blood, until they, until they change it, Fear of Blood is pretty easy to manage with Smoker because smoking can clear your anxiety and you just, you know, run your clothes under some water every once in a while. Um, hearty appetite is easier to balance in the beginning. Um, high thirst is easier to balance later on, to, you know, later on in the game because you'll have your water situation sorted out and it's a lot easier to get water depending on where you camp than it is to get food sometimes depending. Um, but it's a lot easier to manage hearty appetite up front. And so that's what I'm going to go with because I get tired of being thirsty all the time. So that's my build. We are going to figure out who we're going to be using. I like to just kind of click through random until I see someone that I that I would like to go with. I usually like to get somebody that's got a big beard. I don't know why. I just... Probably because I can't grow one and I'm compensating. Here we go. Frederick Moniz. And he's even got glasses too. Not hating on the glasses. Uh, I wear glasses, so you know, there's no hate there. He looks like he could be an engineer though, right? Sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with Frederick Moniz. This is how Frederick Moniz dies. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I have about 800 hours in the game so far. Um, but the point of me saying that is to say that I still don't know everything. There's still probably a ton about this game that I am not familiar with, that I don't do properly, that, that I'm not even aware of. So if you see something, say something. If you know of a tip or trick that I maybe don't seem like I know, let me know. If you know it's a better way to do stuff, let me know. I'm not afraid of, of, of backseating. You know, be respectful about it. Don't call me an idiot, please. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm not afraid to learn. All right, let's see. Where, oh, where are we at? Not that that's going to do anything, but I'm going to equip a pin real quick. Paper clips in case I find something, in case I find a uh, um, little magazine that gives me the ability to make, uh, what you call them, lockpicks. I have no idea where I am. This room is very dark. Uh, paper clips. There's some cigarettes. That's good. Don't have a lighter yet, though. Piece of tape. Okay. I mean, to be completely honest, guys, I don't know why I grabbed that pin. I don't... It's not gonna... It's not gonna help me if I get into a fight. Am I in a school? I think I'm in the school. Hello? There we go. I think I'm in a school. I mean, I definitely know I'm in a school now. Mechanics Volume 4. Don't need that right now. Oh, wait. Hold on. Scissors? Wait, where'd they go? Oh, it was in... Okay, here. Well, that's better than a pen. Let me see. If there's anything else worth taking right here. There's some glue. I'll go ahead and grab that. I'm not really going to need it right now, but... You'll see I am kind of a little hoarder when it comes to when it comes to things i grab a lot of stuff that i probably don't need um so oh here we go here we go baby all right and i got a, sc a screwdriver and a hammer uh wait what did i just do oh attach that to my back 
I'll equip that in both hands. The screwdriver I'm going to put in my right belt and then the hammer in my left belt. And then rip sheet in case I need to bandage myself until I find something better. There we go. Matches. I'm just going to go ahead and light up a sig ahead of time because I know I'm going to need it. All right, let's see. What do we got in some of these places? I really need to find a... There should be a book bag in one of these. I'm going to go ahead and start gathering some scrap scrap electronics here. Uh, what was I looking at? I feel like I just missed something. Maybe not. Uh, go ahead and dismantle all of that also. Okay. Mm, not gonna go in there. I don't want to draw any attention yet. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Got myself a little bag. All right, let's go ahead and put uh, all this stuff in here. I'm gonna keep that. I'll leave the cigarettes. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, we are on our way. All right, so like I said, I'm not super familiar with Rosewood, so I don't actually know where the school is. Um, I will say I will be looking at a map um, online. I don't have one up right now, but I, I will be. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you see that? They're breaking the door right there. All right. I'm going to leave that open because... I know that once they break in, I'm not going to want to be behind a closed door that I'm going to have to open. Uh, electrician volume one. We're gonna definitely going to need that because I think, yeah, my electrical is only one. So that'll give me a good boost when I can read it. Um, If it's just the one guy, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do something really risky here and it's either going to pay off or it's going to cut this run real short. Here's what I'm gonna do. I like to stomp. Um, I know that it, I know that it, it can wear your shoes out and things like that, but I, I prefer to do that over, I prefer to do that over um, using my weapon early on. All right, got myself a little hoodie here. There's another CD player. All right, so what I'm looking for, I'm actually gonna go ahead and, sh there we go. Go ahead and shut that real quick. Oh, there's earbuds that I can dismantle. Um, what I'm looking for to start is just some very basic stuff, but one of the biggest things that I think any Zomboid player probably already knows is um, looking for garbage bags when you when you first start. Garbage bags are very important because you need to start making like rain catchers and things like that or pretty early on. So just hoarding them is is always a good thing. I'm not gonna start grabbing more tape. Oh, heard a zombie. Don't know where they are. Oh, there's some chips. Go ahead and dismantle this and I'm sure I'm getting hungry so I'm gonna go ahead and eat those chips. I've got like a little hoodlum in here. I broke into school after after hours. My crowbar and my hoodie up. All right. Where else do I need to go to look? Let's see. Have I been in here? Yes, I have. Yep, I have. Sorry, my my memory is very bad, you guys. So I apologize if I go the same place multiple times. All right, we got another garbage bag. That's good. Some olive oil. Don't really need that right now. Ketchup and marinara. I will take the marinara just to eat. Um, hey, there's some steak here. Take that bologna. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can do this. Just in case. I'm going to put this on the ground. 
And then I'm going to move this baloney into the garbage bag along with the marinara. And I'm going to try and keep some of my food uh, in there. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to cook this steak while, while I'm looting. Because why not, right? Got a little steak in the apocalypse. I actually just made steak um, last night. And it for only the second time in my life, believe it or not, at 34 years of age. And it was delicious. And I was very proud of myself. All right, let's put those in there. It's not the greatest food in the world, but you know what? It'll uh, it'll do in a pinch. All right, what do we got? Meat patty, ground beef. Don't really can't really use that right now. And more ketchup and more ground beef. It's so basically a lot of stuff to make things. I, you know, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this while it's cooking too, and I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it in my uh, in my bag, and I can eat it. Although I can't forget that it's there because I'm probably gonna wind up, I'm probably gonna wind up forgetting, and then, and then it's gonna, and then it's gonna burn. I'm taking those as basically like an, a second option for a melee weapon. So the steak is almost done. I'm afraid to like walk away because I'm afraid it's gonna burn. Let's check these real quick. All right, garbage bag. Actually, I'm gonna grab these bottle, empty bottles as well so I can fill it up with water. All right, this should be done. Yep, that's done. Those are still taking a while. Eat a quarter. All right, so let's go ahead and, is there a sink in here? Can I fill, oh yeah, I can, okay, cool. I didn't know if that was just for, never actually tried. All right, so we got we got a few things so far. Let's go ahead and drink because I'm getting a little thirsty. All right, how are we looking? All right, that's done, and this is almost done. So I'm actually just gonna speed this up just a little bit. That's probably not the best idea, but all right. Where's my? Here we go. There's my food bag. All right, I'm gonna put this in there. Okay. I mean, I'll be completely honest with you, I can't explain why I'm doing that, why I'm putting the food in the garbage bag. Um, but, you know, that's, that's what I'm, what's what I'm doing. Okay? Alright. So, I don't know if this school has a second story. I don't think, oh, I guess I need to change yet. Not change, check these garbage bags. Or garbage cans, I mean. Okay, and this is why you check. Alright, have I been in here? I don't think I have. No, I haven't because this is your books. Um, let's see. What do I actually need? Carpentry Volume 1 is definitely good. Um, I'll grab the Hunter magazine. I don't really need the Metalwork magazine right now. Let's do First Aid Volume 1. The Electronics. Uh, let's see. Farming magazine, definitely. Did I get cooking already? I don't think I did, did I? No. Alright, so we got cooking, electrician, carpentry, first aid, fishing, metalwork. That should cover most of what we need right now, I think. There's a lot of stuff that I can come back and get later that I don't need. Um, but I probably should actually go ahead and grab carpentry volume 2. And see if they have an electronics volume two. There's an electrician volume three, but I don't really need that right now. It's gonna be a while. Electrician volume three, metal work. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab that magazine. Is that the same one? Oh yes, it is. Okay. Well, I can use that for fire if I need to. Okay. I'm probably. I probably have missed it already. You guys are probably, like, screaming at me right now. Uh, let's see. Angler. Performance models don't have that. Okay. Alright, real quickly, just gonna look here. For... This carpentry, electronics. Um, I guess I'll take that. Volume 1. Oh, 
I can come back if I need any more stuff. My book bag is actually almost full anyways, so. Alright, have I been in here? No, I haven't. This is like a little... Oh, here we go. Some good food here. Where's my bag? Here it is. Well, I gotta actually find it in here. Here we go. Okay, what do we want to grab? Let's grab the yogurt, peach, cake slices. I'll keep the hot dog on me to eat. Um, let's see. I guess I'll bring the saucepan. That's actually not all gonna fit now, is it? I don't think it's all gonna fit now. Oh, can opener. Definitely need that. Alright. This isn't gonna fit, is it? No, it is not. That's what I thought. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what time it is. I probably shouldn't just walk willy-nilly into a room that I can't see. Uh, gonna get any med- oh yeah, lots of meds in here. Alright, um, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So, I'm gonna draw- oh, the meat cleaver. Okay. That's way heavier for not that much more damage, so. I'm gonna drop the meat cleaver. That should clear up a little bit of space for some- I'm gonna keep- that in there. We'll keep the suture needle and a holder in here. And then got lots of stuff. Minus the cotton balls. And yeah, I figured that wasn't going to fit, so I'm going to put that in there. And then the sleeping tablet. Okay, I can get one of those. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to drop some of this stuff. What do I not need right now? I don't need fishing right now. Um, and I'm going to leave carpentry too here because I know that I can come back for it because I know exactly where it is. Because I need this disinfectant. Okay. Alrighty. We, have, we are filled to the brim with loot. Like, to the brim with loot. I think that might be everything. I haven't gone in, I want to say this classroom, I think. Or maybe it was this one. One of the classrooms, because there was a zombie outside, but I took care of the zombie, but I'm, I'm, I'm basically full on loot. So I need to, I need to find a house that's going to have, um, opportunity for a better bag. Hey. Stop defacing school property, please. Oh, and by the way, I'm so glad I found this crowbar because I am a crowbar maxi. I love using the crowbar. It is one of the best weapons in the game. And you can't... You can't tell me otherwise. Alright. Some zombies over there. Don't want to go that way. There's only one right here that I can see so far. Oh, there's two. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's locked. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to hop this fence right here. I hope I don't hurt myself. Okay. Alright, there's a zombie right there. They probably, they're gonna see me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and engage. Gonna go ahead and engage with them. Actually, I probably shouldn't be stomping on them just because um, just because, and I'm going to take this hoodie off. Actually, I'm going to rip it. Probably shouldn't be stomping on them because I'm using up energy that I probably don't have right now. I imagine it's later in the afternoon. I haven't found a watch yet. Uh, 
there is a key here for this. But no gas. But at least we have a car here, even though it is beat to shit. But there is a car. Probably would not run even if it had gas. Okay, that's locked. I'm not going to break that window right now. Alright, so there is a little grouping right there. You keep an eye on that. I'm listening. I don't hear any zombies. I'm actually gonna just check. Oh, oh. Okay, we're not going in that house. Yeah. That could be a problem. Alright, so we'll go to this one. Definitely gonna check around it, though, to see if there are any zombies nearby. Okay, alarm didn't go off, so they said, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave that closed, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna leave it open in case I need to run out, but I also don't want a zombie to come in behind me, so. Alright. Alright, no zombie in this main area. That's good, gonna close these curtains. No idea what time it is again, but I always like to leave everything on Life and Living TV because I don't want to miss those beginning two weeks of uh, shows. If you don't know, for whatever reason, uh, the first two weeks of the apocalypse, Life and Living TV gives you TV shows at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and then 6 p.m. Um, that basically give you basically give you a boost to your I don't remember the exact schedule but it's cooking carpentry fishing trapping and I think maybe one other one or maybe not but it gives you a boost to those a different one each each time so always good to have it on in the beginning because it's just it's free experience All right, let's see, what do we got? A little granola bar, some honey. Put that granola bar in there. Oh, we got some canned food. Okay, okay, okay. Don't mind that so far. So zucchini. You know what, this could be our, our, first, our first little base. I think I have a general idea of where I am. I don't know, I don't remember exactly where the school is, but I think I'm, I think I'm close to the south edge of Rosewood. So this could be a, you know, a little uh a little starter base so there might not be as many zombies nearby. Um I would like to I would like to be able to cover those windows though. I don't think there you know there's no sheets in here. Yeah, I didn't see any of this I thought. Don't got any sheets to cover the other two windows, but I could use this as a base of operations. Okay. Go ahead and smoke here. Oh, how I'm already getting drowsy? Wow, okay. Not sure why. Actually. The smart thing would be to place this bag like in the middle here so that if I do have to run, I have an easier time of grabbing it and not being in. Alright. Okay, so got this. Alright, I'm going to go to this house here, or at least try to. Yeah, let's see those zombies already moved closer to that house. But my concern is that I'm going to miss life and living for today. 
depending on... Oh, there's a zombie right there. Come on. Come to my crowbar. Oh, and there's one inside. Uh, nothing else that I would really want. I'm gonna let him break that down. <laughs> I always have my weapon at the ready whenever I come out around the corner of a house, because you never know if a zombie is just gonna be standing there, laying there. Sitting there, whatever. There's some zombies over there, so I'm gonna come back this way. Let's see. The dead body there. I could actually probably come in behind this zombie. Probably not the wisest decision though, because I don't know if there are there any other zombies in the house. Doesn't seem like it. All right. Quickly gonna turn this to life and living. Okay. All right, haven't missed anything yet. All right, here's some food, some cigarettes. I'll grab a couple beers. You know, I'm not a beer, beer fan uh, in my personal life, but you know, in the apocalypse, you gotta do what you gotta do. More of a whiskey guy. Take these canned goods, put them in my. I uh, can put them in my bag. I am going to bring one of those saucepans since I said I would grab another one from somewhere else. Go ahead and grab those. What was that? I'm actually going to grab this mug. Alright, what do we got in here? Some milk. I should go ahead and grab that and I can put it in my. I can put this stuff in my other. My little house. Got any... Yeah, there's some antidepressants. Okay. Uh, is there a sheet? Oh, there's an alarm clock. Well, I can at least hold on to it. Oh, no, hold on. Where did it go? First of all, let's make sure it doesn't have an alarm. Yes, it does! Always check to make sure any watches or anything have alarms. Because the last thing that you want to be doing is sneaking around. And that alarm that you didn't know you had goes off and just draws everybody to you. I'm not going to wear that bikini. But I will take these curtains. Because I need them for my house. At least my temporary house. So it's 450. Let's see. Go ahead and dismantle that. I don't think I need anything out of there right now. I like taking comic books for keyring. Wait. Can I? Oh, it's for that house. Put that on my keyring. And then drop that. There we go. I, I like to bring comic books. I, I don't remember if I finished my thought there, but I like to have them for entertainment whenever I'm like super bored because it's a good, good method of good method of removing boredom. All right. Okay, he doesn't have anything worthwhile. Alright, I'm going to go back to the house because I'm getting pretty tired, so my capacity for, like, noticing things is going down, and in about 40 minutes we'll be having the show, so. I'm really hoping that horde that was down here doesn't migrate towards my house. Looks like they're still down there. Okay. I don't see anybody. Let's go ahead and add the sheet. Close those curtains there. That's closed. That's good. And then put this on here. 
close those curtains. All right, we are good. And then let's go ahead and dump this stuff off while I'm thinking about it. All right. And then another thing that's important to do that I like to make sure that I do. All right, so this is where we're at. Wow, that's... Oh, that's because I have a blue pen. I was like, why is that so bright blue? All right, so this is my home right now. And then I just looted that one. All right, so mark that off so I don't know that I... So that I know that I don't have to go back to it. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to watch us some TV. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure you can still fast forward through this stuff and get all the experience. I remember hearing or thinking one time a long time ago that if you fast forwarded it, fast forward, fast forwarded? If you fast forward through the time through the show that you either don't get as much experience or something like that, but I don't think that's true. If you know, please let me know. Where's that saucepan? But. Okay. Oh, there's a saucepan right here. I did not even notice that with rice. And it's uncooked. Put that bread in the fridge so it'll stay... Yeah, I know, you're very, very tired. Even though it's only 6.30. Put this bread in the fridge. Keep it a good a little bit longer. Uh, let's smoke a cigarette while we wait for this rice to cook. And then let's actually go ahead and let's go ahead and grab this cleaning liquid. And we're gonna wash all our clothing. I almost didn't catch the auditory cue that it was done. Ooh. Is that really worth? I don't know that it's worth. That much unhappiness for a little bit of hunger when I have all this other food? I don't think it's worth. Alright, let's go ahead and wash ourselves since we have an issue with blood. Alright. That should be good. Let's place the cleaning liquid back. We're a little hungry. Let's go ahead and eat that whole hot dog. All right. Now my only concern with going to sleep at 7.20 is that I am going to wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to do anything. So I guess I could read, you know? So let's have a beer. Let's let's crack open a beer before bed. Get ourselves a nice little pillow here. Oh, I'll put it on the other side of the bed. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna go to sleep and hope that a zombie doesn't break in. We are still asleep. I am surprised. Damn it. And I missed... Well, it's 7.30, so that's okay. Um, I missed the first... Missed the first Life and Living show of the day by an hour and a half, but I didn't want to turn the alarm on because I was afraid if there are zombies outside, they would get attracted. Um, but yeah, that concludes day one. So I actually think I'm going to cut it off here. That's a good good amount of time that we played. It's a good first day. Have a lot of... Is that... Okay, that's not our house. It must be over there. Alright, and on that note, now that I'm a little startled... um. 
yeah, we'll end it there. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. Appreciate everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Please let me know your feedback. I mean, it, constructive constructive criticism is good. Um, you know, I could always I could always get better. Um, but I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys will enjoy this new playthrough for what is this, what is my guy's name? Frederick Moniz, the engineer little shiny headed dude um but yep i will see you guys next time and until then take care stay safe be good to each other and uh hopefully see you in the next one